Welcome back everybody, here we go again. Lauren's Amazon Princess and her illustre group of freaks is on the way to rescue the world. Proving that some animated armor is still back and kicking. Commanding the demon hordes. Uh, we gathered all the guys and girls. And now we will talk to uh, our new necromancers that strangely cannot shapeshift even if she's a shapeshifter. Okay. <coughs> the dark witch was standing alone by the campfire. Elna looked around, unsure if she should go to speak to her. Chambara didn't seem like the most friendly of companions, and simply speaking with her seemed to irritate her, but if she became friends with someone, perhaps that would change. Chambara looked over her shoulder at her, sending cold chills through Eleanor, but she said nothing and turned back to the fire. After a few moments, Eleanor shook off her next tea, cleared her throat and walked up to her. Uh, Chamba, get a good look. Uh -huh. Don't be coy, I'm aware I have an attractive rear end. Eleanor gagged, realizing she thought she was ogling her from behind. Uh, no, I, pff, I wasn't, I swear. Really? What a shame. You missed your chance, and I doubt you will have another one. <laughs> okay. Now tell me why you're really here, then. Uh, I wanted to get to know more about you. Chambara stared at her blankly. Elnor cleared her throat again. For instance, I wanted to know more about death magic, like... Chambara suddenly jawed. Ah, oh, the topic is boring. You currently are disappointing one, aren't you? Boring? Yes, it's such a mundane business. Bones, blood, sacrifices, standard affair. Sacrifices? Oh, don't get your underling in a knot. It's mostly just small animals. Chambara's eyes flicked across Eleanor's body. Mostly. She was thinking about sacrificing her? Joking. That's a funny joke, Chammy. <laughs> yeah, joke, yeah. Chammy, call me that again and you'll see how much of a joke it was. Totally noted. Good thing Lauren didn't hear you with her nonsense of humor. She's like to decapitate things. I know. That is precisely why I like her. <laughs> okay. Got it. Dora, how are you? We didn't talk in a long while. Another shooter. Hmm. That new elf, he shoots a bow, too. Uh, yeah, it's more like a... Well, close enough. A crossbow, I believe. Oh god, I had to point it out. Eleanor and I think too alike. Yeah, yeah, it's still bow accuracy. But, uh, I know bow is totally more difficult than his fancy machine. I wonder he would probably disagree. Of course he disagree. He thinks he's the best at everything. But I will show him. I've totally a better shot. I think he would love enlightenment competition. <laughs> oh, sorry, compassion. He's trying to find them in everything anyway. And it's about time he lost. Dora stretched her bow string with a devious smile. <laughs> okay. Hey Ray, maybe I can get you into this compassion. Have I told you of my exploits in Havoc Cavern? I don't want to know. Um, bandits. A slew of them strung up my their receiving feet in horror so when I was done with them. You will not believe how easy it was for me to outsmart them. Okay, great. Eleanor sighed heavily. I have quite the reputation in horrors, actually. The mayor's wife took quite an interest in me after saving her from highwaymen. In particular, she appreciated how I was able to recover her prized steed. It was simply in my considerate nature to track the beast down, of course, but she was very sure to thank me. You are disgusting. Hmm? Does it one story bore in your ears? 
I haven't even breached upon the numerous escapades I have to enjoy in the company of the forest nymphs. Oh god, the forest nymphs! Don't talk about the forest nymphs! Dirty little nymphs. Back from chapter one, we remember that. Have you ever met a nymph, Eleanor? They are mischievous creatures, to be sure, but I could more than handle them. Ray leaned in uncomfortably close towards her. They were always quite satisfied. Yeah, piss off, man. Shut up! I'm not interested in you. He blinked and stood up straight again. And whatever made you think that I was interested in you? I'm sorry for the miscommunication. You may have your night back. Yeah, piss off, asshole. I wanted to make a contest here. Nah, no, I, I am out of mood talking to these people. Let's go back to the map and... Truth temples sounds like we could find out the truth there, but let's go to the dark elves. Random encounter. Sure, why not? Kick some dark elf butt. A long time since we did that. Look at the dark elf warriors. They sure know how to dress up. They have no idea about armor, but well, nobody has and. <coughs> All the other guys don't even wear clothes. Now. Well, some of them do. Yeah, but still. Uh, I maybe spoke too soon. But uh, she's quite dressed. So two of them. Okay. I have no idea what their abilities are. I forgot to be honest. But say, oh, uh, critic against scared. Ha ha. Weak against confused. Critic against tired, weak against poison. Okay, get it. Do you have anything we can do to this guy? Uh, let's start killing the healers. Ah, you don't need defense. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, Ray, do something useful. Headshot her. Nice. Yeah, they are weak against that. White slashes don't really do much. Nature's touch. Cure all. Okay. 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 So... Yeah, solid. <laughs> I would say. I have to admit that was quite solid. Let's uh, get their attention to Lauren. And then... Let's see how you cure that. They are kind of fire resistant because I live in, live in the desert, but... Well... That's how it is. Yeah, let's do power attack. Okay, Lauren. Slice him. Try yeah, try me if you dare. Staggering, burning. Push that guy back. Yeah. Okay, good good work, Ramas. Now we can hit her with a frost potion, ice her. Come on, yeah, ice her. Nice. Water resistance. Okay, we can't do much with water resistance, but still. Ah, they don't really get much damage from that. We can't kill him. But he can slice him. Ah, that's not really worth it. Let's try to confuse the other one. Worked. Nice. What is that? Magic value decreased. Nice. Okay, she's still in the front row, so bad news for her. Ah oh god, stop healing up those people. Nice. I hope this is slightly uncomfortable. Frozen and burnt. Slightly uncomfortable for sure. Uh, oh, we still have power attack, don't we? So let's use it. Is this current here? Nice. Burned, frozen, tired, or shattered. Is this here would paralyze him. Uh, 64, 90 to 103. Why should I ever do that? 
Uh, well, this takes double the time to recover, so... I think Sissy is very solid. Yeah, now he's paralyzed for three. And we can smack up this guy's good. Kill him in close combat, Eleanor. Yeah. What what did he do? Ah he's okay, he's paralyzed, yeah. Good. Ah, uh, headshot for confusion. She's still two turns confused. Let's try to confuse this one. Didn't work. We can freeze him? No, we can. We can freeze her. Let's do that. Ah, shit, didn't work. And now he's guarding most likely her, so she will heal up. So we need to get rid of him. But he's in the back row. We can kill him. It's Lauren. Power attack, please. But you can kill him. Ah, he's pretty sturdy. Ah, God. He's yeah. Cure all. Ah, this is nasty. Let's burn the back row. I hope this is slightly uncomfortable. Ah. This is uh, highly annoying. <laughs> Strike through, huh? Okay. Now we are all scared. I don't like that very much. Okay, we. This person needs to be confused again, thanks. And now he's dead. dead. You're dead. Precisely. He's still paralyzed. Maybe time to heal up a little. And you go back where you belong. So we can slice her up. Boom! Hit shot. Okay, sure. Uh, who's taking the most damage? Him. Let's protect him. Yeah. I thought. Oh I start to dislike you. Stagger him. Nice. Ah. Shouldn't you be able to frost him? Ah, whatever. And Eleanor herself. Yeah. You should surrender and he had the chance. Old quarterstaff and a standard sword and a level 4 Ramos. Nice. Okay, uh, no skill points. Fine. This guy needs a little bit more will. I think everybody should have at least 10 of every stat. Okay. Start. Elf Village, the group was quickly intercepted by Tobar. Hey Tobar. Travelers, you've returned. Yes, something the matter? He searched Lauren's eyes and then frowned. <gasps> so you have not come with news. What were you expecting? My son, Methford, he's <coughs> missing. Excellent, looks like I will be hunting him once more. Uh, shut up, Ray. Now we see who we real is the monster between us. Ray, he's not your charge anymore. Decisions on how to deal with him are not yours alone. Yeah, tell him, Bruce. Please do not kill him, I beg you. He's a good boy. I... If he's genuinely a threat to anyone, we cannot let him live. You must understand, demons cannot be allowed to roam free. I cannot excuse Mesford's crime of dealing with demons, but he's not in league with them. He was driven to this. He told me how he felt trapped and powerless over our situation in the desert. He only wanted to help. I had thought that you all had come to announce his death, but if he's still alive, you must return him to me, please. I know. Only said he was speaking of the Cyclopses before he managed to escape from my guardsman before he... What? Cyclo... Peace. Cyclopes. Okay. He's not an evil person. It's demon inside of him. That's not method. 
that's not my son. We understand. But no, that if it's dangerous, then he will be treated with the same hospitality that I give to any demon. Towards eyes darken to his possibility. I suppose now there is some hope that he may still live rather than none. I will cherish it in time that you are gone. New quest, find method, okay. Lauren led the group out of the desert with a new goal of finding method. Okay. Cyclopes. Oh. That's quite interesting. New spot on the map. But I think we go to the Grand Tree first. What? No, please not. Thanks. We still could do some tasks here. Clear the forest of bandits and stuff. But first I want to lock in the shop. Set some dandy weapon. Ritual dagger, huh? Wow, okay. I guess you currently having a... Oh shit, return. Why that always happens? I guess you having a... Um, some kind of staff or... No, a dagger? Dagger Dark Soul. Cool. Oh god, I always do that. Um. Ah well. We could give her a staff too. St uh, maybe an air staff so we have some air damage. It gives magic 6. I mean. Oh, it costs 300. We don't have 300. We need to sell stuff first. Standard sword, quarter staff. Ah, oh, that's Raven's bandana. What does it... Oh god, why did I do that? What's that doing? Whoa, she can wear it. That's kind of funny and it says magic damage <laughs> defense. <laughs> um, I actually think that would be better on, on Eleanor, but... I think, well, why... Oh, god damn it. Why not wear it? I mean, she's, she's the one who wanted him dead. So. What's that? Resist weaken and plus two damage. Nice. Could use a lot of this stuff, but we should first try to get some more discount with tasks, and we will do that in the next episode of Lauren's Amazon Printer.